Hello everyone. Hello. It's Sunday night and we are live. Yes, welcome to our regular Sunday chat. We don't really have a name for this. Sunday chitter chatter. I don't know. What is it? Waffle. Sunday waffle. Reseller live hangout with me and her. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit knackered. We've just got back from a family party in Milton Keynes. Um so yeah, you yeah. drive and I snoozed and then you went oh, I, I drove I could have snoozed all the way back. <laughs> yeah, well, I did, I'm exhausted. So you've had a nice skip and I drove all the way home. Well, I think it was about ten minutes in all, really, because I was still listening to the C D, so I so, didn't yes. really sleep for long. Welcome. Uh if you're new here, my name is Nick. Uh this is my wife. Andrea. Uh we are resellers. We buy and sell mostly secondhand stuff. Uh and we sell it on the internet. And this channel is all about our adventures in reselling. Um, you can see some of the junk around us. I keep saying that quality merchandise around us that we buy and sell. Uh, and on Sundays, we come on and just if we have picked up some stuff, we will share it with you. That's what we're going to do today because we have not a big haul, but quite a nice haul. Andrea picked up some way better stuff than I did. Uh, Makes a change, doesn't it? Right, no, you do well, um, but particularly this time. Uh, so we're going to tease you a bit with what Andrea's uh, really nice pickup of the day was. I did put the question in the chat. Uh, there is a side chat running um, while we are live. So if you're watching this live, um, yeah, pop in and say hello. First in today was Lucy and Peter, uh, Chris, Welsh Wonder. Hi there, Hitman. George is in, Amy. Yeah, George is putting his kids to bed, though, so not watching. Okay. Um, I did put, there we go. I said, any guesses what Andrea's best find of the day was? <laughs> uh, well, actually, this was yesterday. We went out to the jumble sale. Uh, what guesses did we get? Wicker. Well, you, there is. I did get some wicker. Yes. But that's not, <laughs> but that's not, that's right. not the, the, the best find of the day. Um, other guesses? Wicker again. Super Nintendo cart. No. <laughs> Wouldn't know the first thing. <laughs> Mind you, you didn't know what you'd picked up that time, did you? Not the Atari no. cart. Uh, what else have we got? More wicker. Uh, a rare Atari cart. No. Uh, a coat, says Peter Ray. Some lint in a pocket, yeah. Some lint yeah, in a pocket. That. Yeah. Yeah. Good guesses. <laughs> we will reveal that later. We're going to tease you a bit with what that was. Um, yeah, Kay's watching from a bed. She's not feeling very well. So hi, Kay. I hope you feel better soon. Feel better soon, Kay. Oh, I'm just reading it in bed with a cup of tea. Yeah. Get well soon. Yeah, Ellen's full of cold at the moment as well. Okay, I'm going to scroll. I'm going to quickly whiz down uh, to the end of the chat so I can keep up. Say a few oh. hellos on the way. Hi, Sparrow's end. Mel's in. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi, Fritz. Hi, M. Mass. Turtle Trader, who are believes in america aren't they steve's in leslie is steve in hey yeah. if you haven't caught the hangout i did with steve please check that out yeah really? i haven't watched that in full i had it on but it was low because i was editing so yeah um yeah yeah thanks ever so much steve for doing <laughs> so that i should watch that back at some point really enjoyed that <clears throat> aid uh, waldron is is it that aid that's coming are you coming to the meetup i think maybe it is that aid that's coming to the meetup i don't know yeah Losing track of who's coming. No, it's, oh, it's next God. Saturday. Less than a week away, guys. It's um exciting and daunting all at the same time. Before we <laughs> do a little bit of chat about Meetup, I want to say a big thank you uh, to, I don't know if they're in, Ben and Michelle. That's the note that came with it. So it just says, enjoy, Ben and Michelle. I was speaking to, I think it was Ben, who had found a bundle of Depeche Mode CDs and he was asking what's the best way to do it. And I said, I would check some of the individual ones because you might have a couple of rarities there. And then he ended up, we, we chatted about it and he ended up sending me this one because I don't you, have it. Well, I asked him, was. could I buy it off him? Because I don't have this in my collection. Yeah. This is the remixes to their album before last, Delta Machine remixes. It's a bootleg, but it's it's quite a good quality one. And he sent it free of charge, which was above and beyond. So thank you so much, guys. Yeah, that blew me away. 
I was more than happy to buy it. I would have bought the whole bundle. I said to him, what, well, how much do you want for the whole collection? But even though I had half of it. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for that. Um, what were you saying before? Meetup. Oh, meetup meet yes. things. Meet, that that meetup that we're having. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, oh, Heather's in. Heather got two Nirvana t-shirts on auction ending tonight. So feeling excited. Ooh, what nice vintage ones. You've got a Nirvana shirt, haven't you? Not a vintage Yeah, one. it's a Primark one. But I did buy it at a Jumble Trail. So, um, so yeah, quickly, meetup is happening. Uh, it's happening. Saturday coming. Um, <laughs> we're gone. No, was, <laughs> Shelley said um, a vintage rainbow coat. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't a vintage rainbow coat. Yeah. It wasn't a vintage My Little Pony, George says. But the, the rainbow coat was awesome, wasn't it? Um, we've already shouted you out, Kay. I think we were just a bit behind. Oh, are we? <laughs> um, oh, another guest, Vivian Westwood item. Oh, how nice would that be? No, not quite that exciting, no. actually. But it is really nice. I was excited when you picked yeah, it up. But more exciting than a vintage My Little Pony, <laughs> um, which is George's guest. So quickly, as I was saying, Meetup is happening next Saturday. Um, I'm yeah. starting to hope that, you know, I'm getting a bit concerned that they're not going to pub's not going to fit everybody in it it's a big pub <laughs> i'm hoping it will it's a big pub don't panic <laughs> i was just wow. going to say actually i was thinking about this on the on the drive home from from milton Keynes today if you're coming down and you're not on youtube and we haven't seen you or we don't know make sure to come in and introduce yourself because mm. obviously you'll you'll kind of know our faces and what we look like and and a few of the other YouTubes that'll be there, but we won't know who you are. So yeah. please come up and introduce yourselves because we won't have a clue who half of you are weird. It's going to be really odd for us. So come up and say hello. We don't bite very I'm, often. I'm sure people will. <laughs> I hope so. I think Carla was saying we needed name tags. For yeah, everyone. that's what Carla was saying, jokingly saying <laughs> that we needed name tags. But yeah, it's come around really quick. Uh, we're excited and daunted all at the same time. So if you're coming, looking forward to seeing you there. Yeah, you know what to expect as much as we do, basically. Yeah. I know we just made a date and a time, and that, that's as far as we got yeah. from being organised. Oh, so, dear. right, let me pull the chat down to the end, and we will share some stuff. Um, <laughs> wicker toilet brush. <laughs> who's that, Matt? Oh, I think Andrea bought a wicker <laughs> toilet brush. Someone else said something about wicker there, wasn't it? Oh no, no, they didn't. Did Andrea find Shergar? No. Uh, hi, Kelly. Says evening all. Okay. Wow, I'm way behind. Yeah. Oh, Phoebe's in. Mella's guessed a coat or a dress or wicker. <laughs> that covers kind of all of your bases. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's kind of what I do. <laughs> um. <laughs> you you have bought all three of those items. Mm. Okay. Okay, says thanks. No problem. Hope you're feeling better soon. Right, I'm going to whiz down. Um, Aliyah, who is actually Mukhtar, uh, just want to say, because Mukhtar kindly sent an adapter, a power adapter, so I could power up this thing, if you remember. Got this at car boot sale a few weeks back. Um, doesn't work. Well, it half works. It's so I annoying. I think you can sell it as a prop. Yeah, I'm going to sell it as almost working. The The viewfinder works. You can get a picture up. Um, I can fast forward and rewind tapes. The zoom works. So it's all functioning. Ooh. But when you come to press play, the motor kind of makes a little grinding noise and then it cuts out power completely. And it does the same if you do play record as well. So mm. something mechanically wrong. I took it over to my brother-in-law, who's an electrician. He couldn't work out anything we could do. Mm. So oh, it's annoying. Yeah. It's the difference between as a, as a prop, it might be, might be sort of 50, 60, 70 pound margin, may, mark maybe, fully working, 100, 150 maybe. Yeah. But anyway, go. I only paid three, so I haven't really, <laughs> I can't grumble too much. Mm. What did we sell? What was that? Um, some spark plugs. <laughs> Oh, exciting. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so here's him. I just saw someone saying. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. 
that's so nice of him oh i guess oh we are way behind for the cd yeah yeah i was blown away with that right wow so much chat right let's get to the end sorry if i've missed anything we're gonna have to get to the end of the chat and start sharing is that a, is, is that a flowery dress that's one of the finds. oh is it that flowery dress um and it was a good find but it's not that one <laughs> Did Andrea find the original wicker fruit bowl from the last supper? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, or the fugly Christmas jumper of John the Baptist. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh. You did get a blooming Christmas jumper, didn't you? Here it is. <laughs> oh. And what are you doing with it? I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> to add to the collection. Well, we've got a we've got a mug problem. Then we've got a Christmas mug problem, and wow, we've got a Christmas it's jumper really issues. Really nice. I tried it on yesterday, and I like it, so I'm keeping it. Yes, I have a Christmas jumper and a mug problem. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. Yeah, I bought a Christmas jumper. It was only twenty p. What are you going to do, honestly? So. Yeah, but those weren't my amazing find. <laughs> okay, did Andrea find Nick at a car boot? <laughs> that's not where no, we met i found you in a record shop <laughs> you did find me in a record shop yeah lurking in the depeche yeah. mode section hi lex i'm getting too hot i'm gonna have to take lex this off in. i'm not doing a strip please just one layer you're not gonna um model any of my oh, dresses then <laughs> we were watching if you've been following lex's channel recently the live hangouts have been funny i don't know if they're staying on the channel i think the one before last was deleted <laughs> where they drank like a half a litre of uh, rum yeah or whatever it was but yeah uh rob was it rob in that roy 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 yes. oh what a star oh, yes yeah he was trying on lex's you came into the living room we go come come watch this i did i had to go from here and fetch andrew andrew you've got to come and see this <laughs> it's great so yeah been enjoying those lex she says i deleted one because it was just too dodgy <laughs> fair enough <laughs> um yes. right do you want to share because people have seen that dress do you want oh, yeah, to share what that is that. you'll like this one lex this is a vintage one isn't it yeah. oh and i've got a fail to share with you as well all right late. if you can see it it is a vintage laura ashley dress it I'm has gonna, a belt to go with it yeah I'll bring it closer. I just wanted to show you the whole thing. Have got so shoulder pads? It has, but you can easily take them. It's out, got so. little kind of squishy shoulder pads. Yeah. So, yeah, um, 1980s, I would say. There's the tag. Do you want me to There's show the, the tag. tag? So, is, is that an old style tag? Yeah, can you no, tell I'd the say age 80s. From that? Laura Ashley. Yeah. Right, so where and how much did you um, get it? Well, we found that in a charity shop after the Jumble Trail, and it was eight eight pounds. If you can see that, um, I haven't actually looked it up, but yeah, I know that they go for quite a lot. So, and it's really warm as well, so it's the right season for it. So you paid eight on that. Yeah. What would have you had any, done any research on that or not any really. idea? I've not. No. What would you hazard a guess at? It's quite thick, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. At this point no idea <laughs> no i mean i could no in the chat but, what, you know, what, what what would you sell that for the belt is tiny look at that it's really quite small tiny waist maybe it's a headband it's actually it's a size 12 but i reckon it's more a size 8 in vintage terms yeah yeah okay so so anyway i was pleased with that because i yeah I've sold Laura Ashley dresses before, and I think the pink one I sold for about 40. So, uh, Sally Kelly is in, says 25 to 30. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the pink one I had was a bit more special, I suppose, and I sold that for about 40. Yeah. So, I don't know. It'd be worth starting at 40 and then coming down or having offers on and. Uh, anywhere between 30 yeah. to 100, says Shel Staruni. I think it depends on style and, yeah. It's in really nice that. condition. It there's is in no, lovely condition. There's no real wear or damage on it. So, so yeah. I, I should would... give it a bit of research. I didn't want to say an exact price on it because I wasn't sure. But like I say, the other one myself for 40. So. Yeah. It's so what we did. 
we were vlogging so there should be a vlog coming out of, of us at the jumble sale um and then what we tend to do is nip into the local town and whiz around the charity shops it's the only time we really go over to that town isn't it to do this uh jumble yeah oh i'm Have just reading mails um, tune me out completely there. well i was just reading mail she said that she sold an 80s one for 40 pounds last week too so yeah. okay Found that. all right well that's not too bad from eight pounds. I mean, eight is more than you spend on most of your clothes you pick up, isn't it? But... Yeah, and Heather says, leave the shoulder pads in for the 80s silhouette. Yeah, I always leave them in and then just say that if you want to remove them, they're, they could be easily removed because sometimes that puts people off. Right? Sapphire Lewis says he'd burn it or she'd burn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steve Green said, Mrs. Doubtfire wants her dress back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great film. <laughs> The old yeah. uh, saucepan yeah. lids. We so need to show Ellen that film. She's never seen. She's not seen that. No. Oh, right. Shall I share something? Yes. Right. Nothing exciting. Um, I went straight to the toys and games sort of corner, and just grabbed a little heap, um, which included fifty pence each, Xbox three hundred and sixty pads. Um, so yeah, happy with those. Uh, not had any any of those for ages. Oh, didn't you pick this up? I don't think there's a lot of money in there. Oh, I did, but it was more because Ellen was getting into it, and she's got a tiny one, mm. but not a big one. Yeah, so, so Ellen may keep this to do to that. do some flower pressing for her artwork, and she uses them on her face, isn't she? Mm. Um, right, part of makeup designs and stuff that she does. So we may be keeping that, but I have sold a slightly smaller one before. I think I only got about eight or ten pounds for it anyway. Yeah. But vintage ones, they do sell. They may go well on Etsy or something like that as well. So quite a funky just, design on the top. Yeah, it's it? nice. I thought it was really pretty. I remember it's, we had a couple just like that in the family, and they were 70s ones, so I reckon that would be 70s. Yeah. So, yeah, how much did you pay on that? A uh, pound. pound. Oh, you must have spoken to one of the higher-pricing oh, old ladies. Did. Yeah, it was a younger woman, actually. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, quite a lot of the things on the table are 30p, but she charged me, charged you... me a pound. Um, <laughs> you're giving it to me I don't, I I don't know I don't know you, you've got you've got floor space down floor. there that's what I've got now I think some of this will appear in the vlog actually we went like I said charity yeah. shopping after the jumble and spotted this we when I say we my family in the 90s had this very phone in bright red um what's the name of it again a tribune this is a tribune vintage because it's 90s um phone it was marked up at three pounds as usual on ebay prices are everywhere but the top end of people who've, who've set their price by it now is 20 to 30 i think was the max but on bids they've been going as low as 10 pounds that sort of money so i'll stick it on if it cleans up really well it's a little bit grubby but i think it'll be okay yeah, get a baby wipe on it. yeah clean it up and I'll shoot for 30 and see how it goes. But it's just really, the feel of this takes me back to being a teenager. Hmm. Did you have one like that? Yeah, I think so. Did you? Yeah. We had a rotary one before this. Yeah. This was we, us we getting all modern. A, a rotary one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any of you guys have this model in the eight? Well, 90s more like. I don't know if it's dated, actually. I'm sure we had it in the 90s. Uh, there's no date on it. <laughs> so yeah that was nice Kelly says oh a telling bone <laughs> Kelly's been out walking rescue doggies today oh. wanted to bring them all home oh. Oh. yeah we met yes. some nice dogs didn't we it's all that... we can do to resist having a dog isn't it <laughs> well, we I think it's going to be in the vlog we met a woman oh. who had three adorable dogs one with a Big thick collar on that said um, deaf dog. So obviously the do dog was deaf, bless him. It was so lovely. And we chatted Either with the that lady. Or it was a dog for deaf people, one or the other. I th oh, yeah. It could be one or the other. I don't know. <laughs> I thought the dog was deaf. Well, it could have been. No. It could easily have been. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it could be that as well. Yeah. But the lady who had it wasn't deaf because we were chatting with her normal. She wasn't oh there. no she wasn't no there, but she was looking up there she said that were her mum's dogs right okay <laughs> but only one dog had had deaf dog yeah i don't know oh steve <laughs> said the dog is deaf. okay thanks steve yeah, that's, that was the assumption <laughs> well, i know, came to it could have been the other way around wouldn't it right um musical interlude bear with oh we've had to put up with this it's 
not very tuneful. I don't know if that's the player. Anyway, I picked this up. I think it's both ends because that's why you went yeah. around your neck like that. Yeah. Yeah. Was that at the jumble? It was. That was it? at the jumble, yes. I think that was a pound. Um, I think it's you know traditional African made. Oh, and then it's sapphire. So it means a helper for dog people for deaf a helper dog for deaf people. <laughs> right. So that maybe so the dog wasn't it. It could be both, couldn't it? I who knows? Because I said it could be that, and you said you thought the dog was deaf. So we still don't know. We still don't know. Tom says nice bongos. I tried to research this and put in bongos. And that brings up like a pair, sometimes joined together, one bigger, one smaller, where you put them on and go like that. This is double-ended. And I couldn't find anything like this. I was searching traditional drum, African drum. So I need to do a bit more research. But I think that's nice. And for a pound, it's obviously hand-carved. It's got animal hide. I have no idea of its value, but it was interesting. It was unusual. So... Yeah, grabbed it. I quite like it. Oh, Daddy Cool says, Hi, guys. Can you say a big hello to my partner, Christina? You make our week every Sunday. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina and Daddy Cool. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, well, it's lovely. Oh, Thank you. Tom said it's not bongos. It's a drum. Yes. Well, we kind of established Yeah, that, okay. I don't know if it's any good or if it's worth anything, but it was, it was a cool little item, so I wasn't leaving it behind. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, do you want to share some more of your bits? Um, yeah. We're still um, teasing you with Angie's best find. Okay, so we'll go with my last. jumble finds. Now, normally, when I go to the rail, there's a lady there, and she always charges me a pound a piece. But she wasn't there today, or yesterday. Um, I'm just going to write they, down. The ladies behind the uh, desk or table only charge me 50p for the things on the rail. So um, I've got a pair Una linen jacket. Someone reckons it might be called a Jumby drum, J-U-M-B. So, yeah, bog standard, not very interesting. So I've got one of those. Um, this is a bit more interesting. Oh, jungle drum, says Peter. This is a vintage Adidas jacket. Let's see if I can find the... Oh, Heather says the Jemby, Jemby drum. DJ Vintage Adidas jacket. It's got a hood <laughs> inside. Yeah, You're it's... just going to talk over me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm not listening. Yeah. Sorry. With the stripe down the side. So that's really nice. I really like yeah, that. This I is, haven't actually this is cool. looked like... that up yet. So I don't know what the comps on it would be. But it's in really good condition. It's barely been worn. What so. were you saying, era wise, do you reckon? I don't know. Is that vintage? I, I would it say it's is. vintage. It looks vintage. It to be... me. The label looks vintage. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Uh, so I don't know. But... Yeah, it could be 90s. That looks like it's got some age to it. Well, I actually spied this when we were standing in the queue and we were looking through the door and I thought, ooh, that looks vintage Adidas to me. Can't get it on. Hold on. So I went straight for it. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. It's quite big, oh, that it? does look vintage. It's too big for me, actually. Yeah, it's massive. Drowning me. Yeah, that is very yeah. hanging around in the bus stop in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Kind of cider in a bag. So I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it Stu Andrew says, Goldie looking chain selling off their old clothes now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goldie looking yeah. chain. Oh, that takes me back. Yeah. Guns don't, were... don't, guns don't kill people. Rappers do. Rappers do. <laughs> that was more early 2000s, though, wasn't it? Yeah, Are they 90s? I think it was more early 2000s. After it had been in Big Brother. Suits you, sir. <laughs> now, shall I show my find? No. Let's not tease anyone. No. Oh, go on. Let me do it. My turn. Right, you can name all of these for me. Okay. So this is the... Um, this is Doctor Who, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this is Doctor Who. <laughs> Um, he was the, the first. Name? It was Christopher Eccleston. Eccleston that's um, he was the first Doctor in the new reboot. Yeah. For use in the UK and Ireland. Oh. These are thirteen-inch <laughs> figures. They're they're big oh, old. Does things. he say something? If Don't, he does, his batteries are. He has uh, like a speaker on his chest. Yeah, but he was on, so I reckon. 
I need to change the batteries. Yeah. So these were at the jumble sale. They were 50 pence each. Do you remember what these ugly guys were called? <sighs> no. Anyone in the chat? Where's ads when you need him? Sniff it, Nick. I want that. <laughs> It, it, I didn't smell any <laughs> anything yeah, it dodgy. It's quite clean, to be fair. I don't know what these guys are called. Um, and then there's a Cyberman. Who gets the yeah. tap points for this? Jadoon. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, that's Mel. Yes, thanks, Mel. Oh, nice. Thank well, let me write that down because I'll forget that. How do you spell that? Jadoon. <laughs> J-U-D-O-O-N. I just do, yeah. I just do my research on a Sunday. <laughs> I just go, and then the a chat. very drunk looking um oh yeah David Tennant. He I've kind of sorted <laughs> his when when I picked him up, he was like this. He was like backwards legs, looked like he just rolled out of a club. He hasn't got any shoes on. Look, he's no look shoes. at the state of him. He, he's <laughs> had a, ties all over the place. He's been to the hitching meetup, look. <laughs> doesn't look anything like him either oh, oh it doesn't look too bad it's when the glare's on him he looks really well yeah so that's the doctor so, that came after that doctor yeah yeah oh he's a bit of a mess isn't he, he, is, isn't he? i've no idea what missing. value's in these if anyone sold these before so he's totally missing me his converse yeah he's missing his converse i've got plenty but i don't think they're fitting no Oh, you're in a mess, young man. So have you got any idea what these are worth? Or I haven't looked I haven't looked into them, but at 50p for 13 inch figures at a Doctor Who, I think my money's safe. I don't know. Anyone bought and sold those before? Uh I'll grab that one. Hopefully he's gonna work then and he'll say things. Uh I picked up this was funny because I was having a chat with Tom um about these the other night. And then I, I picked one up, a very similar one to what we were talking about. I think I may have overpaid a bit. I paid eight pounds, but I have seen them sell for between 20 and 30, so it's okay. But the rechargeable batteries aren't in it, which is annoying. So don't know. I could take it back, but it had two crusty old batteries in it. So they clearly hadn't taken it, taken them out and tested it, which just annoys me. Especially when they're going to charge that sort of money. Yeah, Mel says ninth and tenth doctors. Um, back yeah. at the jumble, these <laughs> aren't great, but for fifty pence, I, I I thought I'd buy it and learn. This is a VTEC InnoTab. It's basically a kid's equivalent of an iPod. No, iPad. Sorry. Tom what? says that's you after everyone buys you shots next week. <laughs> I'm, oh. Tom does this. Tom randomly turns up with a tray of shots. And it's like, really, Tom? Yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever done shots was the last meetup. Oh, yeah. Well, Hixie yeah. kept buying trays yeah. of shots as well. Anyway, yeah, kiddie um, kind of iPad thing. But there's since been InnoTab version 2 and InnoTab version 3. So this is quite old now. I think I'll be lucky to get 10 to 15 out of it. Um, but 50p... It was worth doing. It was worth learning a bit. These take little cartridges, like the old VTEC systems, VTEC Smile and all of those. People are talking, or Steve's talking about ads as eBay song. Have you heard it? No. I've not heard it yet. I saw it come up on my notifications. I thought, what is that a video? Saving that for a special occasion. <laughs> I need to watch that. So he's done a video with a song in? Yeah. Um, oh. Steve says, Insanity and Genius are so close. <laughs> <laughs> um really nice classic i love this game oh i'm dropping stuff off again uh this was uh it's really dusty you write your name in this um jumble sale 50 pence and this is the exact edition that we had as kids yeah yeah i love this one of the reasons i love this is it's really easy to check all you've got to check is six of the people i love these this takes me back to my childhood and then how many weapons? Nick's getting excited about board games again. How many weapons? I don't know. Six. Six weapons. And then tap points yeah. in the chat. How many rooms? How many rooms in a standard Nobody Cluedo? Nobody cares because they've all switched off. <laughs> <laughs> how rude. Oh, the elastic band on this was so old. You get this when you get an old board game and it's literally solid and you can snap the elastic band. Look at it. It's just stuck. Oh, Baz says eight. No. Stephen says ten. No. 
Andrea says six. No. Steve says six. Aid. Aid says nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, six. Tom says no split board nine. in that, Nick. No, the board is fine. And oh, Lex is 12T. <laughs> not 12T, nine. <laughs> yeah, the classic original board. So I love finding these. Yeah, simple. Oh, Glass Hammer said, I haven't got a clue, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um and i've got some media and stuff and can nonsense. i show my best find as a go on then show your find hey, drums, was... drum roll we've oh built... hang on hang on i'm sorry we've built this up way too much it's, it's not exciting drum roll <laughs> i'm really overbuilt this up now how much did you uh, pay for it first i paid 50p wow how long do I do this for? It's Arbor, and it is a leather coat. Yep. It's actually got, it's a Bushman. Yeah. Barber Bushman. It's very heavy. And it looks practically unworn. How about that for a lining? Yeah. Wool lining. Yeah, nowhere around the inner arms. If you look at the name little tab there there's no discoloring on it up at the collar normally where you'd get browning and wear all along the back of here look at that nothing it's oh, yeah there's it's... there's wear of, of which i think is mainly from storage which is just more sort of a bit lighter in color around the shoulder area yeah, and it's, around been the hanging. it's been hanging in it's the cupboard. Just been hanging in the cupboard and it's got wear from that but the sleeves hardly anywhere at all yeah and we looked at comps and we reckon between 100 150 pounds yeah so. someone's asking size that's a good question it's big <laughs> uh it says specialist leather dry clean only large it says 100 percent leather outer where does it say that oh large yeah. it's, it's just, just got an, it's just an l it just says large l for large it fits me quite well yeah it's just such a nice thing i know i couldn't believe it when i saw it if that had seen much it. use, it would look at that hardly anywhere at all. So we're, I think we're going to shoot top end, may even go beyond the the same model, this Bushman model, the same <laughs> no, design. With a wicker lining? No. <laughs> this same Bushman coat, uh, the most I saw one go for on recently completed is with 155 maybe, something yeah. like that. Um, I'm going to look at that listing and see what condition theirs was. So this could rival my... Um... Ralph Lauren denim jacket that I picked up from that same jumble. Yes, same jumble. And yeah. you got what two you got, got more though? Pounds 200 pounds yeah. for that. Yeah, I, I just love it. I had a barber coat when I was a kid. Not one like that. I grew no. up on a farm. Yeah, I bet yours was second hand. Um no. Was it not? I don't think so. Oh, it may have been. Actually, this, this swamps that me a little massive. bit. That is massive. It does swamp me a bit, but then I'm skinny. But then you are skinny. That is true. Oh, it's what I'm instantly boiling in there. I know, it's hot in here. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, what do you think of that, guys? So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Pretty chuffed. Show us then, Nick Modley. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it swamped me. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing of me. Um. Yeah. Adrian says awesome. Sai says amazing find. Amazing. Well done, Andrew. Said Tom. Yeah, we were chuffed to see that. Yeah. Carmel. Yeah, I hope it wow. does. Hope it does fly out, Phoebe. Really do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Put it on and go to the end of the room and walk straight towards the camera, strutting your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now that that's that's Roy. You need for that. Is it Roy? I can't remember. If it... In Lex's video, Roy, Roy yes. it was Roy. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. right. I was just reading. Um, Shell said, um, I used to have a barber, but I fit into children's sizes, so a tad cheaper. Same on hunter boots, yeah. yes, Andrea. Perfect timing for winter, yeah, yeah. I think absolutely you won't have any bother with that, yeah. Who else was at a car boot sale this morning? We didn't go, uh, we did the jumble and a charity shop, um, run on the saturday and this morning we just laid in yeah well we were going out anyway to and then, the yeah so. we spent the day with family so 
yeah, yeah. but um, you also have another yeah, find i found something really cool which could be as good shop. we we have no idea about this but not sure now this was in the charity shop on a pound rail and it so i'm going to show the polo by ralph lauren pretty sure it's genuine i don't know if you can see that but it's a whole suit it try looks this like it should come with braces but it didn't have braces um but yeah and it is 10 percent cashmere as well so but a pound i couldn't believe it it was on the pound That's rail huge again. i mean i'd have paid a pound for a, a, a good quality suit anyway whether it was ralph lauren or not it's massive on me <laughs> but yeah you kind of need a shirt to to really show this off so I was and condition really again happy with that condition again on this no, it's just but where did we find um the label oh let me take it off yeah you'll boil in there um for bez says wow well, suit should go for at least 40. yeah i hope so yeah it's got a label in there that's got some details and then um on. sammy Lissil said is it the same as ebay item and blah blah, blah. 350 pounds if so i haven't researched it yet but it's a really cool style the trousers are like turn up it's really quite hipster i've copied that ebay number we'll have a look when we go off here. okay um yeah find the label because that's what gave us the idea that it really is genuine well it's got that printed label inside the pocket and then there's that paper label on the inside of the trousers wasn't it uh, there's paper label inside here as well oh that's the one yeah. so yeah it all looks really proper made yeah. in it made in italy export yeah made in italy for export yeah 90 percent wool 10 percent cashmere and then lots of other information there as well. So it just so, the brain boggles that this was on a pound rail. I know. I was so expecting them to say, oh, no, I'm sorry, that's a mistake when I took you up to the counter. Well, the, let me pull this off. <laughs> that's what's actually on the tag. <laughs> Price squiggle. Yeah. In the same charity shop, um, all of their... Yeah. media was 9p and we looked at each other and went 9p i know why why wouldn't it be 10p why why would you go to 9p yeah so I, um blake turner said that's much more than 40 pounds looks more like 150 so i don't know i mean that it could be amazing so i you know watch this space i will let you know so 150 new 40 second hand says uh for best okay but well, it, we'll see either way that's still quite we'll a result oh. no avalanche avalanche of tat in the corner sort um out later. yeah i was getting stuff some media that they're, they're actually i better sort it out now <laughs> see these were 9p i picked up because i couldn't leave it behind I've, I've got this in fact i've got two different versions of this fresh mode the singles the early singles 9p i'm just going to stick it in the car so i've got a copy that i can leave in the car um sealed status quo um what's it called the search of the fourth chord because they're famous for having three chords um new and sealed i'm not sure that's worth seven or eight pound maybe um a random mortis album that i sold before on amazon i don't think there's any fba sellers used nine p each it's mental and a random sealed um audio book or that and not isn't this the most annoying thing when you get a sealed item and the case is cracked underneath it's like Urgh. what do you do with that oh no yeah so that's annoying yeah. and then uh, another charity shot i think these might be in the vlog good old wii sports uh <laughs> sims 2 command and conquer this is tiberian wars haven't had this for ages i don't actually know if it's still holding its value but I've sent this away to Amazon a few times. So, yeah. Oh, this is cool. I just saw shells. They save the wicker. It's all right. The wicker's safe. Oh, it's you haven't shown that yet. <laughs> Who remembers these guys from the 90s? MTV. Beavis and Butthead. 
Um, George just said, Andrea, if you're still not picking up leather items, would that coat have broken the rule? Well, I have discussed this before that um, after a few people spoke to me and said that actually when you pick up secondhand leather, it gives it a second life and it's probably better than it going, you know, going in the bin or something like that. And it's all about recycling, um, which was, you know, that's part of our ethos anyway. So um, I do pick up leather now. I've started picking up shoes again and I would never buy it new and I wouldn't wear it myself. Well, I think the point is that but potentially that the, could stop yeah, someone buying exactly, a new item. That, exactly. So if you, if you can get people to buy used, then it it slows down the the new market for leather. So yeah. So yeah, it's all about. And uh, it's a difficult one. It really is. But you know, I think these. Um, I'm going to aim for about twenty on Amazon for this Beavis and Butthead. That's quite nice. Okay. Um, oh, a nice little sealed Wii game. It's still got the clearance five pound, I think it's HMV sticker on it. Um, I paid two. I don't think there's any FBA anymore, new and sealed. So I'll shoot for 20 or something on that. Yeah. Um, um, Mother's Moustache says, I agree, Andrea, recycle, resale the leather goods. Yeah. And this was a good one as well. This was an, in that shop where the CDs were all 9p. Uh, double album by, my eyesight is so bad. It says, let there be light. Hillsong? Hillsong. Don't know. I just randomly scanned it into Amazon, and I'm going to shoot for about 10 or 12 pounds um, on that. Blake says, do not eat meat then. No, I'm, I'm vegan, so I don't eat meat. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ellen, our yeah. daughter, is vegetarian. I'm eat anything and but you see and that's vegan. that's just my choice and i don't i'm not preachy about it i you know i'm not preachy with uh, to you about eating meat and i still buy stuff for you to eat and <coughs> you know it's each to their own isn't it indeed um so i don't think i have any more of our stuff in here to share wow kelly said once found five thousand pounds is that five thousand pounds under a carpet at my brother's house clearance <sighs> Why does it say that? Oh yeah, once found five grand under a carpet. Oh, wow, that's insane. <coughs> that's oh, a, that's a good day at work. Hillsong CDs are good. You will definitely. It. It's a new Some, one on me. Somebody earlier on, it's and one. it's the chat has moved on, and you know it goes quite quickly now. But somebody asked earlier about how. We well, asked about our turnover in our first year of reselling because they've just started reselling and et cetera, et cetera. No and I just I, I read it and I wanted to answer it saying that it was like 16, 17 years ago for us now. <coughs> so I wouldn't even remember. But we have discussed this before. And what we've said before is that we don't remember exact figures, but we paid our, our rent because we were renting at the time. We paid all our bills. We had Ellen, she was a small baby at that point, and we never felt like we struggled. We no. didn't feel ever feel at a time where we didn't didn't have money. I think initially we, so, we took quite a pay drop because we both left oh yeah, definitely. fairly well paid jobs. You left the police, I left Amazon. So Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't about oh, the money. Um, it was... said that was me, Andrea. So it, yeah, I'm just yeah. I I read it earlier, just didn't get a chance to answer it. But... I just want to go on for that. For us, it, the decision we made was never a financial one, as in we're going to quit our jobs and get rich. Yeah, That was never <laughs> even part yeah. of the thought process. We thought we we're going to quit our jobs because both of us wanted to quit our jobs and we saw a way out. We knew we'd take, we were pretty certain we were going to take a pay cut, but we didn't care. We honestly didn't care about that. And our life has never been about money and we'd never really chased money. So it was about yeah. it was a lifestyle choice, and I, was, I just want to put out there: if anyone's choice. thinking about reselling as a get rich thing, think again. Yeah, I'm I mean, not saying it's not possible. You can, you can scale up, and there are people that you know do it that way, and have um, you know take on staff, and they do really, really well. But that's not us. So if you ever, you know, you're wanting to get to that point, start with us, maybe. But um, it, you yeah. know. I mean, that's where it ends with us because we've made a decision a long time ago that this is where we're comfortable. 
just yeah in you know reselling in our house making sure that we're comfortable we have enough money for our family and to enjoy life but the other and... side of that is that we we did well out of it as in we yeah. we built it up and we we took it to the high street and set up a uh, the shop etc i know i bored you all to tears with all this before <laughs> and and it turned out that we did do well and we got on the housing market paid off the mortgage etc which affords us to to live this lifestyle now where we do less than we ever did before yeah um because it's still not all about the money so yeah and uh, philbert yeah. says what motivates you to work um now i think for me i enjoy it <laughs> well yeah i enjoy it as well but i think what motivates me to work is just to make sure that we're comfortable but also, um, you know, I want to experience things in life. I want to travel a bit. I want to. You want to go know, back to Disney. I want to go back to Disney. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just want to to do things with life and and have fun and and obviously that you know they say money doesn't buy happiness, but you do need money to be able to do things like that. So that motivates me that gets me up in the morning it's like i need to sell that barber coat so i can afford to go back to disney <laughs> kelly's just said uh yeah. going back to finding that five grand says yep they always they're always finding hidden money the best one was from another house clearance guy i know found three thousand pounds under some moldy bread in a bread bin goodness isn't that crazy yeah I think I'm going to have to open a window. I'm getting hotter and I'm hotter. getting boiled. You can probably tell I'm going as red um, as tomorrow. Manpreet says, I know what you mean. It's about enjoying it, which I started enjoying, but I'm still working full time. Good. If you're enjoying it, you're you're winning the battle. Why would you not scale up? Well, we did scale up. Mm. Um, we went into retail and then we scaled that up from a small shop to a to a much larger shop and turnover went crazy yeah, and we got yeah, we did really so well so that. busy and that's what set us up financially but and as far as reselling goes now we're not looking to scale this up no and we did when we decided we were going to open that clothing business we had um we had an office suite and we we talked endlessly about our plans and ideas about before the, before the clothing shop when we had yeah, but yeah, we yeah. talked about hiring staff and really scaling it up and it's just we just realized it's not us well we it's also realized we really didn't need to yeah it's you know just, I mean? yeah we're just much more comfortable this way so but it's each to their own and ev everybody wants something different from it so danny says look out for the terry pratchett unseen library books very rare sold for 460 pounds wow, wow. Cool. Um, would you ever consider scaling up and expanding? We kind of covered that. Um, not and that's not our ambition anymore. Um, we did what we wanted to do in retail, and and now we're really happy doing what we enjoy. And yeah, yeah. M um, Maslet there. Every time Nick says he was in the police force, I just can't picture it. <laughs> it's the same for me now. Honestly, it's that long ago now. I can't. It almost feels like it was we'll a different person. We'll have to person. find a picture of you in your uniform at some point and show people. Yeah. Um, I've got a picture somewhere. I'll, I'll stick it on our Facebook page. <laughs> there's a better picture. I look like an idiot in that The one you're thinking of, I think. But there's a picture somewhere of our, like, class when we kind of graduated from police training college. All yeah, in our yeah. uniform. That one's quite good, but I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is either. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Stu doesn't want much from his reselling, just an Audi R8. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted a Mini and I got one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have any passive sources of income or is it, excuse me, solely relied on you getting out of bed and reselling? <laughs> um, the only passive income we have really is there's a little bit of income from YouTube now that we've built this up to this scale. Yeah. Um, we get a little bit. a huge amount. Though, no, we though. get a bit from our uh, blog. And... But no, we're losing money on the well, blog. Te yeah, but the, the affiliate <laughs> side of it makes up for yeah. that, hopefully. But we, we but pay... the numbers are so small, it's almost irrelevant. We pay more than we get back from our blog. Yeah, so. the blog. But we is... do that because we love it. Um, so, yeah, not really do we have much in the way of passive income. Um. Richard says, no good working more than you need to. One of the reasons for working for yourself 
gives you that choice. Yeah, and that's still something I'm trying to teach myself because I can easily work too much. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was just laughing at Barry. What motivates them probably trying to get rid of all that tap behind them so they can have their house back? I haven't had a, a, my house back for 16 years, so I, I doubt it's ever going to happen, to be fair. When we had the, the shops, it was all done there. Well, yes, but we still had tap in the house. <laughs> You knew what you were getting into, didn't I did. you, marry this me? <laughs> um, okay. I do try and keep it out of the living room, though, to be fair. So it oh. doesn't happen. At the moment, it's covered in stuff, but for the most part, I do. Shazad says, I found 15000 once when I purchased a house. There was money under the steps. Each step had a couple of hundred. Also, was a Whoa. hidden panel in the kitchen drawers. <sighs> What? Oh my goodness. Good job you lifted the steps up then. You could have just carpeted it or something. And Imagine if you were that person that sold the house. Well, clearly somebody's died. Like, well, if, if you weren't, and then it, sometime down the line, you'd wake up in the middle of the night and sit up straight, wouldn't you? would be like, oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> you forgot you put it there? In my house. <laughs> no, that would just be somebody's died and Probably, the, the secret yeah. went with them. Yeah. That's mad. That's crazy. Blimey. Jason, I've just started about three months ago and with the with the advice that Nick has given me lately with Buy It Now has really helped with my sales. So thank you. I work full time still. Cool. I'm glad the videos have helped in some way. Uh, Yoga T, great name. Doing reselling right now to pay my tuition fees for the next two years. Oh, good Fantastic. Idea. Good really, idea. really good idea. I wish we could get Ellen interested. I think because it's something we do, she's mm. like keeps it at arm's length. My niece Becky, who is what is she now? 22, 23? Oh no, she's not. She's <laughs> what is she now? She's getting on, she's past like 25, 26. Oh, now. okay. I still see I her as a baby. Exactly, but... Um, she started supplementing her income by a bit doing a bit of reselling. So yeah. it's it's great. I think it, it's the perfect scenario. If you have a job that you that you enjoy, that's the, that would be the key for me. And you can do reselling on the side just to add to it. It's win win because you've got that security and you've got the reselling that you can get as much out that you put in. Yeah. But we both hated our jobs, so <laughs> we had um, to escape. Kenneth says, "Have you ever thought about Amazon <clears throat> private label?" Thought about it, just not I something I plan on doing. Really, no. no. Uh, Reselling Polly said, did our first jumble trail today. The weather was a bit rubbish, but was so much fun. Oh, they Aren't are, they fun? They are, I think they're the future. It's, it's like We were discussing this in the queue for the jumble sale because the ladies were saying, I think car boots are on their way out. And I said, well, I think garage sales are the future. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I think this is the way forward. Yeah. We had plans to do one in Hitchin. Oh, like well, this spring year has been a bit, yes it's gone this year's been a bit crazy so maybe we'll go for next spring well we need to get organized or oh, oh, we're never organized um yeah but they are fun because you get like a little treasure map oh, and no. then you whiz around it's like a treasure treasure hunt it's brilliant and if Love it. where you are it's anything like around here you know there's a bunch of resellers going around so then it becomes a race as well <laughs> so, mm. yeah they're great uh right let me catch up did you have any more clothing to share? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, grab some stuff. Um, just from the charity shop that we went into afterwards. So it's air ambulance. I paid five pounds each on these, which seemed a bit much when I just picked up a Ralph Lauren <laughs> suit for a pound. Yeah, it's all <laughs> but relative, I, I am Denard and I decided I would. It's um it's St. Michael and it is a floral button down dress. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I thought that that would sell quite easily, so I picked that up, and um, and then I went with this one as well, simply because it's M and S collection. Um, it's still got its tags. <coughs> it was originally thirty five pounds, although it was in the sale, and I paid five pound for that. And it's just a just a pencil dress. So, yeah. You might be able to hear the cars because we've got the window open. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I did. Um, oh, you've got some shoes there. Shelly will like this one. <laughs> I 
I got a cashmere jumper. <laughs> this was at the jumper sale, 20p. Um, it's autograph, Marks and Spencers, and it's 100% cashmere. It's really soft. So, so is that an in that. thing, or does cashmere always hold value? Oh, well, Shelly sells loads of cashmere, so. Um, and so is that watching a... her videos, I thought, oh, well. Excuse me being ignorant, but is cashmere, cashmere a certain from a certain animal or a certain region, or, yeah, or what, what is, is it? What is it? I don't know. I feel like I should know that. That's oh, yeah. so soft. You have comments. <laughs> Rubbing it on your face. I start sucking my thumb. I used to suck my thumb <laughs> as a kid and have a little. Yeah, I'm not sure actually what animal comes from. I think I know, but I don't want to say in case I'm stupid. <laughs> so Lu there was that. Lucy says um, people should bring baby pics to the meetup and put them on a wall and guess which YouTuber it is. Oh. Wow, that's a thought. Interesting game. Um, is anyone? Let me scroll to the end. See if anyone's goat. goat. Oh, I see. That was in my head. I did think goat, and I was going to say it, and then I thought, no, I might be stupid. Fine, so soft wool stupid. originally that yeah. from the cashmere goat. There you go. Yeah. RJ's been on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was actually at the end. Normally, there's a lady that just hoovers up the shoes, but she was on holiday. So <laughs> I managed to get a pair of vintage Gabor shoes. These had sticks in. Are oh, you take them out? I took the sticks out. Yeah. They had sticks in. That's just too stretch. Holding them. them. What to stretch the heels back? Yeah. They had um, like little bits of tissue oh, paper where's my as drum? well. <laughs> so yeah, what? So they're what? Yeah. Gabor. Is that a good brand? Yeah, I've sold Gabor before, Don't and uh, I sold it for a good price. So. Yeah, they're a good brand to pick up. And they're vintage, so they should What did go they charge you again? A pound? Um, yeah, I think it was a pound. I yeah. thought she was going to ask more than that, but she didn't. And then this is just a little, um, a, you know, just a test, really. He's, um, he's St. Michael, 1995, and he was only, what, 20p or something? So. Uh, and he's really cute. <coughs> so Sorry, this dust it. is really getting down my throat. I think it was 30p. They oh, had two, 30p. they had two massive rummage sacks of, of um plush and we went through the whole lot and it was all oh, there you stuff. go. RJ said it's originally from the cashmere goat. Yeah. I read that. Oh I didn't see it. Yeah, we just thought this might be one of those from the nineties that someone had as a kid and can't be many around in that condition. But it was that's the only thing worth anything in all of the plush, wasn't it? Yeah. There wasn't a great deal there at the jumble sale this time. No, but I think you wasn't. made off with the one really good item in the whole room. Yeah, I think I did. There weren't a lot of people heading for clothes this time. Well, not the um, ex expensive clothes. We were third and fourth in the queue. Mm, although two ladies were pushing in. <laughs> I know. It really annoys me when those people I do know, that. I know. And my sister was there as well. Alison was there. Um didn't really chat with her much at the end. Don't know what she managed to pick up. Oh, Shell, Shell Storini said, um, sold a pure cashmere jumper with a hole in the roll neck for £30 today. Jaeger and yes, I declared the hole. Wow. So, yeah, I'm hopeful for that one. Um, Those shoes just... with sticks in, they didn't used to be owned by a little old Chinese lady, did they? <laughs> what am I not getting there? What I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not uh, getting the reference. Right, these are from the charity shop, and we just, yeah, we were on our way out, weren't we? And they were in a box for 99p, and then so I just took a chance on them. They are pull and bear. Um, wow, they're quite. And they haven't funky. been worn. They're like platforms. Yeah, they're platform shoes. Oh, they've got a stone stuck yeah. in them. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it? If they've been worn, they've been worn once. Because there is no wear on them yeah, at all. Yeah, I'd say they haven't actually. I don't know where that stone came from, but they've not been out on the street, have they? So, so Pearl, um, was it Pearl and, Pearl and Bear? Bear? Yeah, I mean, they're quite an expensive brand. Never heard of it. <laughs> so no, I thought, well, I'd give them a chance. And they were 99p. Uh, it's 99p, got like a... Um, can't, like, that reminds can't me like them, cowboys, like little fringe. Yeah, sort of Western yeah. style. Cool. 
Yeah. So I didn't even see you get them. Where did you get them? It's when you were looking for your um you were looking for the CDs. Oh my nine P C D yeah. bargains. Yeah. Fantastic. And then I just showed that. I mean that's barely anything, but I just, it was um on it's the really table at dusty. The Look, if I wet my wash. finger, it needs a bit of a That's wash the bit I just clean. cleaned. It's caked in dust. But I can't remember. Oh, this is a pound. This basket. It was just really unusual. So I thought I'd give it a chance. Just, it did. Just before we went live, yeah. Andrea attacked this with scissors. I was like, <laughs> "What the hell are you doing?" It had lining in it, but the lining was all really horrible and stained. Um, yeah. So, and it, it look looks very so pleasant. much better now. So, no, I took the lining out. With the I lining just... in, I think that would have detracted from it oh, so definitely. much. Look, look oh, at that. oh. It's horrid. But without, it just looks really clean and lovely. I really like that, I must say. Yeah. Is this jumble, sir? Yeah. How much were these? Uh, I think that was 20p and that was a pound. This was on the, on the stage. It's got a wooden so, base. Yeah. Yeah, I think you'll do well on that. What would you use? I suppose you could put whatever you like in it. Yeah. Hedgehogs again. Hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question. Best thing to clean wicker? Don't know. Probably just get a hoover on it. Yeah, and, and... or a, I'd just use a brush, you know, like yeah. a dustpan and brush type thing. But that one, I'd probably keep it a rinse, to be honest, because it. Yeah, rinse and stick then. Stick it under the shower. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so dusty. But would water not potentially damage it? And then what, just put it out in the sun to dry? Yeah. I don't think it would. I think it'd be all right. So, are you up to... it dries straight away, it won't go... Are hard. you up to date listing your wicker? Um, no. <laughs> I, I knew the answer <laughs> No, but I have drafted everything from the Jumble Sale, Jumble Trails last week. So, video will be going out for that soon. You're, you've been on it with listing haven't you yeah been... it's just they're not live yet because i haven't done the photos yeah well. <laughs> i do you remember those i think it was last week i picked up um those signed german football well a big framed one of some guy whose name i can't remember now and and the entire german team we worked out was 2006 i think it was with a bit of help from a few people um including darren thanks for your help with that i have put the set of pictures up on auction starting at 200 pounds i think that's way over what they're worth but i'm just gonna tease it a bit and i'm gonna try it a few times on auction and lower the starting price on those and the the single frame photo i think i put up at 40 pounds i may have even done 50 but i found exactly the same um print and signature on a website and they had mm -hmm. sold out but they had it for sale originally at 40. So I judged from that, really. Yeah. So, yeah, for my um, £1.75, I think I'm going to do okay. Yeah, Shell says, I've used a leaf blower in mine before. So maybe that's a good idea, maybe a hair dryer. Leaf blower? Isn't that a bit of overkill? <laughs> <getting a massive laughs> yeah. Yeah, but maybe a hair dryer or something. But, yeah. Yeah, I quite often just use a brush and sort of brush through it. Cool. How long have we been going? Oh, oh yeah. almost at the end. Yeah. Have you run out of everything that you wanted to show? I've shown anything worth sharing. There's there's a few board games, predictably. Well, I showed the Cluedo, which is really nice. The rest are really dull. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think we're done. Is that everything? Yep. Yeah, the uh, obligatory uh, snake jokes about the wicker basket. <laughs> It does look like a snake charmer. <laughs> well, no, they were like like sort of big yeah. baskets like this. Yeah, they? Um, I don't know who it was last week that said about sewing basket, which I had last week, because I've listed it as a sewing basket, and I found one identical on Etsy. So thank you for that, because that really helped. Well, that would research. work for, for like, um, like knitters to have down by the side of your yeah. sofa yeah, with your wool in. I remember when my mum used to knit, she'd just have a ball of wool like down by the side and then she'd just continue to pull off the ball of wool. Yeah. You could sit it in the basket. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think we're going to wrap this one up. Um, so, yeah, we will see you if you guys are coming along to Hitchin next Saturday. We'll be down at the pub from about midday. 
Um, or I will be. You're going to be uh, taxiing people from. There. I have offered to taxi a few people from the station, <laughs> yes. which is fine because it's a bit of a walk. To be fair, so yeah. I, I've offered that to a few few guys. So I'm more than happy to do that. Um, and we'll just see what happens. Really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Who who's in the chat? Who's kind of no Heather's coming down. Right, so Shell. Shell. She says we'll need my leaf blower on that wicker beast I bought back today. I saw that. It's really quite awesome. Wicker beast. It's a massive um unit type shelf thing. Oh we saw was I something. watching that with you? No, I don't no. Oh. It was on Instagram. Oh, I don't do Instagram. You're still trying to convince me I should do Instagram. We all are. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Question. Kay uh, says, what was Andrew's star by? Because I missed it. Oh, it was a barber leather jacket. So a leather barber, yeah, uh, in impeccable condition. We're going to shoot for hopefully 150 for that. Yeah. Uh, and it was 50 pence. So, yeah, yeah we were both um, rather thrilled at that. Yes. Especially when I looked it up and it was worth more. I kind of roughly guessed 50 or 60 when I, in my head when, mm. when I saw it. And I was over the moon at that. Then I looked into it. It's like, oh, hello. To be honest, I'd be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Phoebe says, see you next week. Looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait to see you. Uh, myself and two others are driving down, says reselling Polly. Um, oh, Mike's graphic says, see you next week with a car full of cardboard. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, yeah. We'll have to work out that. We'll have to pop up here and drop it off well you're going to have the car anyway so if you park it somewhere i assume this is the cardboard boxes i'm buying yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the so much stuff like changing um we're, we're getting a bunch of dvds for ellen off someone yeah, um, from Karin. Karin. yeah i'm buying a, a massive job lot of cardboard boxes from somebody else i've got a book that's for heather i've got to remember to take i was going to suggest as well that um if everyone um brings down spare Harry Potter books that they don't need and then keeps in their mind the ones they do. And we have <laughs> like a swap, swap meet <laughs> to make up sets and do, Harry the, Potter swap meet. do the same with like all the other sets that people collect, Lemony Snicket and stuff. Oh my goodness. I don't know. How, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay. We are definitely going now because people have been saying goodbye for five minutes. <laughs> we always do this we say we're going and then we waffle you know this is what used to happen in my family and i call it the mcmahon goodbye stand on the bloody doorstep for half an hour getting cold <laughs> saying goodbye to your family yeah yeah oh steve's coming yeah uh richard payne i'm going to see you next week can't wait uh aid i'm coming can't wait i can help with ferrying if needed okay right might take you off on that cool uh, Mike's graphic. Yes, it is. Okay, Mike. Uh, if you want me to pop in, pop it around to your place, have to unload. Yeah, we'll work it out. I don't know. Mm. Send me a message. We'll work something out. Yeah. Yeah, either that or just stick it in the car. Yeah, but we're probably going to have a mini down there. Yeah, but you thought if you put the seats down, it would fit. Anyway, we'll work that out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why are we still <laughs> talking know. about cardboard boxes? Yeah. Thank okay. you so much for joining us. Yes. I thought you were going to say something. No, I wasn't really. No, I thought you were. Um, yeah, so have a good week, everybody. And um, can't wait to see people who we're going to see on Saturday. Yep. Take care, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.